bit of disturbing news on what occurred behind the scenes on season eight. A stunt woman essentially is charging Fire and Blood Productions with being negligent and facilitating her injuries, which apparently, as she details, were very, very severe. Now, obviously, in these kinds of things, it's a very, very partisan affair. She has her side of the story. The production has its side of the story. But this does contribute somewhat to the debate on season eight and how bad it is. It doesn't answer all the questions, of course. You can't just read from this that the quality of the show declined, but it is offering contributory evidence that the production was making a lot of crazy or odd or bizarre logistical and production issues, uh, production decisions that had a negative effect on the cast and crew. Now, a lot of the cast has been somewhat critical of what happened, but they tend to be overall supportive of what Benioff and Weiss were trying to do with season eight and sort of challenging the audience, taking the story in places that probably for most of the fandom they found really absurd and ridiculous, but they thought was very inspired and even good. But beyond the lawsuit itself, which is very troubling, I think there's something interesting here with Sophie Turner in particular because she defended season eight by saying that the cast and crew work very, very hard behind the scenes. Now, that may all be true, but she did very little work in any real sense in terms of Game of Thrones. I mean, again, yes, being an actor or actress is demanding, but it's not very physical work. But she was saying that, that the physical work done by people who are doing the stunts was very, very tough, and we should be grateful for what they did. And as far as I know, she's not supporting this lawsuit, even though she's also been one of these people to say there should be a lot of accountability in the entertainment industry. So, again, to be sure, a lot of the cast and crew did very, very funny stuff in terms of public relations and defending season eight. But she in particular tried to really invoke the cast and crew and how much of a sacrifice they made. So, with her in particular, this does feel like a hypocrisy if she's not going to support the suit. Again, to be fair, it could be the suit is without merit. She's just making things up. But she's been a stunt performer for a while. So this is not someone who just entered the industry. This is someone who has been doing stunts for quite a while. So if they messed up on season eight, that's pretty damning, especially that they should have known ahead of time how to do certain things. And again, with the advancement of CGI, might have been able to and make the stunts less onerous for them. So at least part of the debate, I think, has now shifted in terms of Benioff and Weiss being unquestionable as writers and producers. But interestingly enough, she is not naming them in particular in the lawsuit. This is really an HBO issue, which, again, is fair. Again, HBO was, if it did sign off on a lot of bad decisions, of course, legally, it is responsible and should be sued. And the way they're countering the claims is fairly weak that she just wasn't following instructions correctly. And that's why she was injured. So we'll have to wait and see how the lawsuit eventually pans out. But it, it does now, I think, shift slightly the debate. And for those people who think we should just assume good faith on Benioff and Weiss, uh, that might have been a fair argument a while ago. But more and more evidence is showing that no, no, they actually did make a lot of mistakes some of which they hilariously admit to and just play off as a joke if you read James Hibbert. It's interesting that this is all coming out now, but this has been known for a while if you've been really been an expert on the show. But This is a fairly public suit, so that's definitely very, very new. We've only had a lot of rumors, even if they've been thoroughly confirmed, but yeah, this is a very new stage of the debate over season eight and how bad it was.